What's up, Bobonas? Today we're making Chico's tacos, and these are the ingredients that you are going to need. And I got this recipe from one of my cousins, Ashley. Shout out to Ashley. I blender, and you're going to add the three cans of whole peeled tomatoes into the blender. two in here so I'm gonna blend this and I'm gonna blend the other one if you have a bigger blender post even better so let's go blend this okay so yeah I said the first two cans so now we're gonna do the third one I'm gonna put the third one in Oy. y le vamos a echar agua we're gonna add water to this one so we're gonna fill up this can with water water you can use this one and you're gonna add it onto here and now we're gonna blend Okay, so I added the first uh, blender with the two cans in here. And on the second one, I added the full can of water. So I filled up that can with the water. Okay, so now that we have our sauce, we're going to add some consomme. Oy. We're going to add some consomme to your taste. Really depends how salty you like it. So yo le voy a echar como una cuchara, cucharita de estas y media. And we're going to mix. We're going to add a little bit of garlic salt. Si no tienen, pues, it's okay. But, right. Whoa, it's a little salty. Pero to see if that's the taste that you like. Because the consomme ya tiene sal y el garlic salt, pues tiene salt, garlic salt. So no lo queremos tan salado. So yo le voy a echar poquito. And add a little bit. Little by little. No les voy a decir exactamente how much. Because my taste buds are different. So it really depends how you um, like it. So how many we're going to mix? You're going to cover it and you're going to let it boil. When it boils, that's when you know that it's ready. So I have it on six or seven so it can start boiling. In a separate bowl, we are going to put our ground beef. Remember, this is the amount that you... And I'm going to use my musher. This is a huevona thing. Si no se quieren asociar las manos, this is a good thing. Apenas lo compré también, so... I would use my hands. But... Si está fría la carne, or if you have nails like me, you don't want that meat to go under there, you know? That's nasty. So we're going to mush it up. Mush, 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 mush. And my kids are in the back. Okay, guys, so I already finished mushing it. My cousin Ashley told me I don't need to add any seasoning to the meat because the sauce has enough seasoning. But, you know, I, I need to add something. So, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Add as much as you want. And I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. We don't want it to have too much flavor because the tomato sauce, she's right, the tomato sauce has a lot of flavor. And the tacos from Chico's Tacos, that's basically the main thing, the sauce and the cheese. So the meat cannot overpower the tomato sauce. So I just added just a little bit of that. And now we're going to start the crazy part that I was really shocked. So let me raise you guys up. Hi. So. Okay. Now that I... Oh, Now that I raised you guys up, don't mind my tirador on the back because I'm cooking. Anyways, you can be an extra huevona and not have to do these uh, flautas. You can buy them frozen. They sell them at Walmart. Y son los taquitos, las flautas este, frisadas. You can use those. But I 
don't really like them. Um, and I wanted to try her recipe at all. We have our meat like this, okay? And now what you guys need to do is you're going to get your tortillas. You're gonna get your tortillas and you're going to get a Walmart bag. Let me go get my Walmart bag. Walmart bag, right? Y van a poner sus tortillas in the bag. And we're gonna put them in the microwave for about 15 seconds. And then when it ends, we're gonna turn them around and put them again for another 15 seconds para que estén blanditas for when we roll up the flautas. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Get your pan ready and you're gonna fill it up with oil and start letting it get hot so that when the tacos are ready or the flautas are ready, we put them in the hot oil and bam. So, aquí yo ya tengo. I already put it. I already put the oil in the pan and I'm gonna wait for it to heat while I do the flautas. I actually have to put a little more extra time so you'll know when they're like warm and soft. Let me show you guys. Hey. When they're warm and soft like this. Okay, so now you're gonna get your tortilla and una cucharita and you're gonna get some of the meat and you're gonna put it in the middle yes not cooked this is the part that really freaked me out but y lo van a poner así y lo van a enrollar así y luego el que sigue okay so now that you have it rolled like this we're going to use toothpicks to hold it together Así o como quieran, and I'm gonna start putting it in this pan right here. So I'm gonna do another one. Remember, you have to go fast um, because the tortilla can start getting um, hard. So again, you're gonna put your meat con sus manos limpias, no sean cochinas. And we're gonna roll, 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 roll. And we're gonna use a toothpick to hold it together. Así. Okay, and you're gonna leave it on the side. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna do all the ones that I'm going to do and then we're gonna fry them together. Okay guys, so ya tengo mi sartén con el aceite bien caliente and I have some of the flautas here. So now we are going to put them. Voy a poner tres. Tres en tres en tres. Es mejor que me queden bonitas a deshacerlas. So, ahora voy a agarrar mi Dollar Tree pincitas. So, vamos a dejar a que se fríen. Frían. Cook. But anyways, guys, I want to show you my shirt. It says, be a huevona and go to Chico's. So, I'm not being a huevona, I'm making Chico's. Pensé que se tiene que cocinar la carne por dentro. The good thing is that um, carne molida, ground beef, cooks really fast. So we don't need to worry about dying with it not being cooked. Aunque lo co cocinan thoroughly, you'll be good. Well, it gets a little messy because it has a lot of that tomato sauce. So, I got these at Dollar Tree. And it says meal portions, but I didn't get it for that. I got it porque they are perfect. They are perfect to fit the flautas and están hondo. It's deep enough for me to put the tomato sauce on top. So no mess, no nothing. Okay, guys, so I already finished. Now we're going to show you how to make them in a bowl okay so i already have it ready remember i got one of these bowls because chico tacos are known for them to be soggy with the tomato sauce so i already have my three flautas right here my sauce so first you're gonna drench it mm. so i already drenched it and my helper over here le va a echar queso get some cheese Oh, 
all over. You're going to sprinkle it all over. Así. And don't forget your salsita verde. I made this huevona way, okay? I did it in like five minutes porque al último se me olvidó. So then you have your chicos tacos and your salsita. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it. Now the taste test. Yo ya le había dado una mordida porque se me antojó. Mmm. 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 Super delicious. Get your fork. Stick it in like that. I hope you enjoyed this easy recipe from El Paso, Texas, the famous Chico's Tacos. And I want to thank you everybody for your love and support. Please subscribe and like this video. And tell me where you're from below in the comments to see who outside of El Paso is going to make the Chico's Tacos. Thank you guys. Bye.